Double honors to the apostles of GMS and the honesty brothers doing the work in truth, war sincerity. This is a uh, it's a quick one as always. Um, but, you know, I just want to go into real quick the whole um, thing about prison, man. Right? You know, like it's, it's sometimes Satan might, you know, uh, uh, fuck with you or whatever, what have you, right? But hey, look, man, <laughs> they that's part and parcel of the job. <laughs> you know, Satan might fuck with your mental. Right, and, and make you forget that, but that's part and parcel of the job, right? You, you, you know, not saying all of us will go, go through all, you know, go through that, but it is something that happens, right? And you know, there are examples throughout the scriptures. The apostles, they give their testimony. And different Akim will give their testimony, or whatever, what have you, right? But then the question is, have you got faith that if you're, you know, put in that situation, that you'll be delivered from that situation? Right, that's the question. Right, so it says Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, and written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Right? So it, 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 Jeremiah was cast into prison. Right? Daniel was cast into the lion's den. Right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right? You know, throughout a, a Paul, throughout the scriptures, a, in fact, all the apostles. Right, throughout the scriptures, you've got countless examples of the men of the Lord being uh, uh, cast into prison, put in prison. Right, the Lord uh, 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 delivered them. Right, now they may they may not have delivered them in in that lifetime. Right, but the Lord delivered them. The Lord sees that. Right, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. Right, uh, 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 let me grab this one real quick. This is wisdom three. And one it says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and they shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. Right, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Right, hey, so hey, though it looks like you know they might be being uh, uh, captured in hell or whatever, right? In certain situations in the scriptures, the Lord sees that. Right, and it's you know it's precious to him. Scripture says, um, "Great love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend." Right, and hey, what's, what's the greatest example of that? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, right? He laid down his life for us, right? For which we are grateful, right? So he went through that, you know, so that we could be better, right? So that we could um, be saved, right? Because through him is the is the uh, he's the mediator of a better covenant of a new covenant, right? So uh, yeah, that, that was the point on that scripture. Um, this is Acts sixteen twenty three, and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Right? Who, having received such a charge, thrust them in the inner prison and made their feast feet fast. Uh, in, in the stocks Fastened them I believe That's what it means there When it says fast Yeah secured them Right Got Secured in the uh, You know in them chains there Right And it changed them Right a able age But look what, what Paul did Right It says And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed And sang praises unto the most Right And they were singing praises man Right Hey Because you read Acts 5 Right When uh, 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 At the end of Acts 5 uh, basically, what, what happened to the, the the apostles? They got beat, right? And then what they what they do? They praise the Most High for getting beat, right? Eh, that they were counted worthy for getting beat. Right? So that's what that's what was happening there, right? He says, um, when they had laid many stripes upon them, and they cast them into the prison. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, verse twenty-five. So look, so at that, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto the Most High, and the prisoners heard them, right? So basically, hey, hey, during that situation, they, they start praising the Lord, man, right? You know, because ultimately everything, you know, if you believe you're a man of the Lord, everything that that uh, that happens to you, for the, you know, is to, to praise the Lord some way, somehow, right? You just got to believe in it, man, because that's ultimately what it all comes down to, belief and faith, right? It says, uh, and then get and look what happened, right? It says, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. <laughs> right, so a spiritual intervention. 
you would believe that we're in that time of spiritual intervention. The Lord's all about that, right? He's all about that, you know, in, in terms of it seems like there ain't no whim. The right? Lord will just come out of nowhere and, and, and then save, right? Because hey, that's in his power. It's in his power to do that, man. Right? You've got to believe that he will do it, right? Um, you know, yeah, and, you know, that's, that's, that's the point of that scripture, right? So Revelation is too intense. It's fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So don't fear them. Right, once again, it's all for the glory of the Lord, right? He says, uh, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, right? You know, you might, you'll be tested out, right? Hey, what are you going to do? What, you, you going to fold? Are you going to, are you going to, what do you call it? Are you going to uh, uh, take the chip? You know, a little bit of pressure and take the chip? Right, right. All, all those works, all those years, all those winters out in the streets, Right, what, how how much to uh, uh, get you to take the chip, right? That's what it means by tried. You know, you, in those, you, you know, you'll be tried. Your faith will be tried, right? And you shall have tribulations ten days, right? And here's the thing: this is what the Lord requires to do. It requires you to be faithful unto death, right? Why? Because there's a reward for that. As as I, as I was quoting the scriptures before, all right? You know, are, are, are precious in the sight of the Lord and the death of His saints. Right, so and I'll give thee a crown of life, and that's literal. You read Second Ezra the second, the Second uh, Ezra, Second Ezra the second chapter, right near the end, around uh, 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 maybe forty-four, fifty-four. I forget, I forget where it is, but near the end of Second Ezra, it talks about how you know a man of high stature, <laughs> right, was basically crowning the men, and who were those men he was crowning? The elect. So Yahweh Shai himself, he's going to crown the elect, man. Right? Hey, if, if if I go to die right doing this work so that Yahweh show himself crown me, you know, so be it, man. Right? Hey, not may, may not be what you want to go through, right? But if that's what the Lord has planned for you, right, then hey, you just gotta accept it. Hey, who hath resisted his will? Right? To Matthew 24, 13, right? But he that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved, right? Or you read in Matthew 10, how about how you're going to be you know, brought before kings, right? And when you're brought, it's, it's, it's the internet age, man, it's the media age, right? When you're brought before the kings of this world, you, you better trust that you, um, you know, that shit going to be televised. You better trust that your face going to be unknown to all the world. So what you going to do in that situation, man? Right? Are you going to, are you going to fold? Or are you going to continue in the faith, Right? You know, and if you continue in the faith, right, the same shall be saved. Right, you shall be saved from these things, man. Right, you shall be, you shall be delivered out of these things. Right, so you, we will we will be cast into into prisons. You know, but Lord, will always make a way. Right, hey, hey as, as is read as First Thessalonians four, right, seventeen, sixteen, seventeen. Then we which are alive and remain shall meet the Lord in the air. Right, so if we have to go through certain things in them prisons. Right, and we die, right? Then, hey, look, we just gonna have to, you know, you, you'll be raised up first, man. The dead in Yahweh shall, shall be raised up first, right? Which is a beautiful thing. It says Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. Right, say, so, hey, you gotta have faith, man. Hey, because we, hey, we, you know, we, we see the chariots, you know, as dots or whatever, what, what have you, what have, you know. But in the kingdom, not in the kingdom, but in that time, the Lord's really going to be showing Himself, right? You're going, you know, we all going to be seeing them miracles, right? Lord, you know, Lord is a, a what do you call it? Going to really be in the forefront, man. There ain't going to be no questions about why X and Y happened. Everybody going to know, right? I'll jump to verse six, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Right, so if if you don't believe that the Lord will deliver you from all the different situations that He puts you in, then you ain't worth it, man. Well, you know, as 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 uh, as we say in England, you're a waste, man. <laughs> right? It says for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a warder of them that diligently seek Him. Right? So, hey, like I think that's that's the last last one I have. Yeah, man. So um, yeah, that was the point. 
Like I say, saying it makes, sometimes makes you forget some of these basics, man. Right? And you got to curse out Satan, man. you got to pray to the Lord. Right? You know, so uh, Lord's will that was there to find the next time I'm going to say, Shalom.